Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. We're at about 2 in the morning, which doesn't mean much right now, because, well, let's just say we had a party between last episode and right now, and rather than stop to record, I went ahead and let them go through it, non-eventful, because I knew they were going to need the bonus of a party. Why do we just freeze? Oh, okay. I don't like game freezes. Uh, the bonus is of a party because I was going to work these guys to the bone. Man, we got a lot done. All the little stuff that just had to be done before we can get back to something more interesting. All of the hay grass in here. There was so much of it. We've just about wiped out the whole thing. Went through, got everything that was harvestable through all the rest of it, and most of it hauled in. Some hay grass left over here, enough so that we are mostly full rolls in here. Well, because there's so many animals, they're going to be, you know, poking their heads into all six simultaneously. So, good chance that we're going to, you know, that we're going to lose those rolls soon. But, we've got uh, full rolls in there. I think we've got a bunch of extra in here. All kinds of it. Like, I wish they would automatically condense it. I wish there was a, you know, a sort button in the in the corner of the uh, of the stockpile. You know, sort and everything just pops into into order. But, no, that's, that's a different game or ten. Anyway... Am I running? I'm not running. Let's get this running. Most everybody's sound asleep and uh, sawing logs and and Missa P and Natalia are up, kind of our night crew. And I got to thinking, Missa P is the only official night crew. She is the night owl right there. So likes to be up during the night and sleep during the day and gets a mood bonus if awake and, a, and actually gets a, a mood uh, you know, debuff if she's... Um, asleep at night is that right no i guess it's just if she's awake during the day i don't know something like that but natalia volunteered to be up at that time too so we'd have a doctor on two different shifts that makes sense is there anybody else here that would work well at night shantigo will not because it's really convenient to have the dogs run in and replace his his stockpiles for him while he's cooking it doesn't always happen that way but sometimes it does sometimes to keep up with them so that would be you know, he needs to be up during the day, but who else in here could work at night to get more of a of a spread out crew here as we're waiting for more people to join? Um, turn that off, and let's, uh, before we get into that, um, Missa P is abrasive. So, more likely to, it says, rub the people the wrong way, get to start a fight. Natalia is psychopathic, so those two together may not be the best combination, except Natalia is usually in here and Missa P is usually somewhere else mining. If she's racing off, does she have a meal with her? She does. So she's off to finish off the, uh, the, the, the load of steel over here that was found. So they never really rub elbows much. Um, someone like Kathra is also... Where am I? Character abrasive and they're more likely to bump into each other in fact these two have had a, a few uh, pretty good fights throughout the series so far at least two that i can remember so yeah best not to have kathra on the night crew with natalia don't know who else here that would work well with think about it um miss a p is a, is a minor alicia's a minor so them spread out and doing although if they worked side by side they might, although Mississippi is abrasive, so maybe not have them side by side. Hmm. Because they, they might get some social benefit by talking, chatting back and forth. I don't know. Think about that. It may well be that one of these two, assuming we even get one of these two, um, character, we don't have any abrasive there, though we do have Psychopath and Klaus and um, Ugg. Nimble, Chemical Fascination, and a Nudist. Well, that's going to be interesting. Anyway, um... If we choose not to make Ugg a nudist, it's only, a, I think it's, what, a negative three or something like that. Negative six is not a big negative. You know, Michael has got a constant negative 14 depressive, negative 12 on him at all times. And we will de we deal with it, so we don't have to have a, a nudie running around here shivering to death because it's cold, because we're going into winter soon. So, we'll, we'll figure that out. Anyway, Tomislav, you are sowing roses because I've got so many people set for uh, growing right now to try to get everything handled before stuff starts to freeze. I think we're there. So, I think we can go ahead and get everybody back to some kind of a normal schedule. Before I do that, let's go ahead and peek at this book. What did this say? Uh, Bandit Camp Opportunity. 
Wally, chief of the Run of the River, has sent his message. Apparently bandits based in a nearby camp have been raiding their caravans. They've asked us to destroy it, which means eliminating all enemies and turrets. If you succeed, their relations will improve, and they'll send us a reward. A mega screen television. Whoa! No thanks. But thanks for the... Oh, I didn't mean to hit jump, too. I meant to hit OK. So we get to wait. And if I'd stop talking, I could jump cut. Like that. There we go. Um... Yeah, so what we're saying is, we're here. If we wanted to travel all the way to there and take them out, we'd get a television for it. I don't think so. So we'll pop back into not research. World, there we go. Anyway, we're not ready for, for traveling yet. Anyway, I want to get this done as much as possible. At least get all the, the core functions up and running again, which we started. We we're getting pretty close to doing some of them. And then... We need to train a tame and train a couple of buffalo, or get some more alpacas going, since they're pack animals also. And you know, the ability to to uh, to move out of the map is not as easy as it doesn't look like everything's moving. There we go. It must have gone into pause. Isabella is pregnant. Isabella. How old? Okay, I was think I'm thinking of Anastasia. Okay. I was thinking, she's a little bit young, but yeah, that's fine. So this is off. That's there. I did charge. No, I swapped out. Okay. And got to charge into there. Okay. So, work. Tomislav, let's take you off of Grow and put you back into research. Yep, yeah, I think so. What is research right now, by the way? It is carpet making. Okay. Carpet making and then what? Uh, uh, something just happened. Inspiration? Klaus has just been inspired. He will get a significant trade price bonus for his next trade deal. Expires in eight days. So we need a trade deal soon. Um, I feel like I was about to say something. Research. Okay, what is next? And get them going again. Um, let's think here. Anything in the basics over here that are really important? Eventually, bed rolls and pemmican for taking trips, but that's not important right now. Um, colored lights, no. Electric smelting, this group right here could be pretty beneficial to us. Get into electric cremation. Um, long range, actually the, the ground penetrating scanner would be kind of interesting to explore. I've not done that yet. Uh, tube television, eventually doesn't. I would think that this would branch into the big screen TV they were just talking about. But I am not seeing that. Not in there. The vitals monitor. Oh, that needs to be next. That's our next one. Probably more so even than carpet making. Let's get into vitals. Because we've now got the multi-analyzer of them going. Ah, there we go. So, research. So, Tomislav just said, fine, I'm leaving. Because it no longer qualifies for this one. This one is up and running, though. And it's got a really good chair there. So, but for that second. Where'd he go? He raced off to go cloud watch. Okay. When he comes back, I get into here. So, we got more of the work schedule to look at. But, we got these, these up and running. Got power run through here enough to be able to get these guys going. We don't have this running yet, though. But I did mark all of these for deconstruct. We'll start tearing this room down. I moved... This, I moved Alicia up into here, right there next to Natalia, and condensed this spare bedroom over here so that we can bust through this area and get this pathway right here, this 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 block, completed. So I see Handy's down here working on that now. So soon, we'll, here goes Tomislav on his way to, to try out his brand new research bench with his really fancy multi-analyzer. Ooh, which does what? What is? I don't think we've read this yet. Increases research speed. Needs to be placed in your high-tech research bench. One research bench can be linked to one multi-analyzer. Okay, so that's going to speed him up. Not that he isn't already pretty impressive in his research abilities. He's already a 15 out of 20. And Natalia... She is at 13 out of 20. Shantigo, you are still where you're supposed to be. Sangria is already on grow, but she'll do handle first. That's all normal. 
Thomas Slav, when you're done with researching, you drop into cooking for, for kibble. Okay, that's probably best. Then you'll dive into construction after that. Anyway, continue through, though. Let's zoom out a little bit so you guys can see a little more what's anything interesting happening besides building the base down there, other than pigs and dogs hauling things in from all over the place. Ah, uh, let's pop back into the base. Which means there must be no more furniture queued up. And they're just flying through there. Uh, Rabbit, you are where you're supposed to be already. Grow and cut. Yeah, with a backup of hunting. Okay. Uh, Natalia, you are set to tailoring because I've noticed a lot of them swapping out their clothes because they're all starting to get worn out. So we do need to get a backup of uh, two or three of everything. And we got winter coming in, so that's going to be important soon. So want to to tailoring them we'll get back into uh, smithing and get more of the assault rifles going um, Miss B you are primarily mining and you don't really do any growing and plant cut well growing so yeah you were never set there uh, Michael got you back on art in order to finish this one project of 35 left and then we can tear this bench down I wanted to just in case it didn't communicate with the new bench right over here. Just wanted to make sure that all loose ends were tied up. Work. So when you are done with that, you are dropping back into block cutting. <coughs> Sorry. Um, Klaus, you are primarily constructing, which you were doing right down there with Handy. And you disappeared and she continued on. So there you are. Either find another job. Nope, there's jobs right here. You're going to have to get a meal, aren't you? Attempting to recruit Gecko, because that is your primary job. Build complete large sculpture. I'll have to go check that out. So Klaus, right there. Yeah, Warden is your number one. Construction is your fallback. All right. And then handy construction. Fallback of crafting in the sense of medicine making or, or what have you. You know, we'll kind of manually uh, choose those if we were to ever be in a situation where there isn't any construction. <laughs> that that doesn't exist in real world. Cathra, you're right now on cleaning. Taking you off of block cutting, taking you off of art. Because we're going to do no more art for a little while till we've got a little more of the uh, you know, hospital and kitchen up and going. Then we'll get back into production. Though research is our fault is is necessary you know, one of the few productions that you do want you do want going first so cleaning when that is done you could help klaus otherwise kibble otherwise growing hmm don't have a lot of skills in the the uh the hauling i mean in the smithing and tailoring i'll just think about hauling here Let's do hauling for a while and see if you catch any jobs that the dogs can't do, like reloading stoves and things like that. Is it time to get this guy up and running? Not yet. Let's let this deplete and get significantly low so we get a sense of what our, our real power usage is down here now that our grow light is up and running again. And then we have Alicia who is on, not on mining, you're on hauling first because you were doing bodies, that's right. You got, the, you got the joy of bringing all the bodies over here and burying them, which you did a, a good job of and didn't even complain. Although, go back to hauling. Let's think about something here. You right now are just hauling stuff. Okay, let's go through and clean up some things. Let's deconstruct. What is that? X. All of these graves over here. Make these go away. And, hmm, who's over here to do that? Well, let's get Alicia digging at marble because you got that one quick little command to go and oh, you're gonna run right by here to go and mine and then I turn that around digging at marble. No, 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 no digging at marble. I don't think so. We got plenty of marble. You can dig that one. But anyway, you're running past here. There you are. Why don't you work on tearing one of these down? And then I need someone like probably handy. Klaus is busy doing other things. Do that one, do that one, that one, and that one. While Alicia go, drops right automatically back into hall, it didn't happen. Did I really mess that up? No, I didn't. Turn that back off. Okay, then right there, once you go bury Croyo and take you take 
him and or her over to the new little graveyard I threw together over here. We'll get those out, and then we can get these out. I'm not sure what we're going to use this space for, but it's it's here. <laughs> and we don't need graves in there in the dark. Maybe mushrooms are growing here. That'd be nice. Otherwise, just inspiration. That was Klaus. Let's leave that there. A reminder. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. He's the one who's going to do the trade anyway. So... It's just a matter of whether or not we're going to get a trade in the next eight days or not. But otherwise, yeah, we're just waiting for the next event to happen. Meanwhile, let's get as much stuff done as possible. Do we not have... We have all the materials in here. It's just waiting for Handy to be next to this one at some point to be able to uh, do something with it. Um, we talked about bulkheads at one time. If we get an infestation down in here, how would we deal with it right now during the construction? We probably have to go in and quickly build barriers blocking off the blocks and you know separating them out from the rest of the base so that we'd have points to attack from you know and or defend from and long term when we get a bug infestation it'd be very convenient if it lands in a bedroom or two open up the doors let the turrets have fun but they kind of just explode into an area boom 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 some of those areas may be out in the hallway. So I'm thinking that it would be wise to get back to the bulkhead design that I had put into Alpha 13. Structure. Hmm. And I want them to be able to move in and out of these areas quickly and easily. So I'm thinking auto doors. They've got to be stone if they're going to do the job of being a bulkhead. They've got to be strong. But we can't deal with a slow door trying to move through the place. Whereas a slow door at the end of the day going into your bedroom, that's different. You know, you one time and it's done, one time back out, you're never there again. So, yeah, let's do just that. How specifically? Hmm. I mean, it seems like we would need one at all four crossings of an intersection. Or at least we need to divide them up into areas. Maybe, okay, let's do this. Well, door, there, there, and there, I guess here. And then, well, we got to do it here too, though. We can leave this main hallway open. But yeah, we're racking up the, the watts here, aren't we? And then we could door probably at the end of the, of there, and that one doesn't need to be done. So give them two? Or give them three. Let's give them three instead. Or give them two. So cancel this one. So this hallway, or down there, 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 there. We gotta do something up in here as well. It's kind of isolating pockets. So if we get infestation, we can fight from various doors out on perimeters and still have access to them if they're in the halls. Um, but we're gonna have to communicate temperature and air movement. So, I mean, this is what I was talking about being a little concerned about the, uh, the amount of steel we still need to finish this place. It is extensive. There are so many steel projects yet to do in this place. A boar is pregnant again. Oh, we need someone that will buy animals. We are getting overloaded in pigs. Which is a good thing if they come with enough silver and we end up with, you know, a couple thousand silver from pig sales. But if that's not going to happen until episode 97, we're going to be eating out of house and home. Yes, they're bacon, but they're also a hundred and some silver each if we can find a way to you know, hang on to them long enough. Um, mushrooms there. A little bit of grass growing in there, too, even though there's no light. Interesting. Uh, right there. Darkness, 15%. I guess... Where do we actually hit zero? I see that it does... You can look at the numbers there. 10%. Nine seven five three one. So it it's, it uh, diminishes gradually as it goes in. Interesting. So mushrooms are at twenty seven percent, and not ideal temperature, not growing. But it doesn't say what the ideal temperature is. Yeah. Okay. I think we have a little bit of a lack of information there. Um. Did I get anything else done? Did I get that one wall in there? I don't know that we got the, the new switch in. We did not. 
So that would be important to get done next time, uh, um, next morning. Oh, we have bodies over here. Okay. Alicia's gone to bed. Uh-huh. <laughs> Don't know if these bodies count the same. Another inspiration, Tomislav. Uh, work one and a half times faster for the next 24 hours. Well, do we get him working, working, or we just keep him researching? And does that count? I think it counts. But I've got no way to really measure that. Do I? Breakdown console. Right there. Man. Then let's tear it down and quickly get the other one up and going. Um... Miss P, you can do that. Natalia, you can do that, too. You can do that, too. Um, if I can just get you to do it, that's the problem. Let's do this. Deconstruct that one. Now, Natalia, come over here and do that. And then we'll see what you do first time. Otherwise, they'll bring enough steel to fill in the one that I indicated and then everything else around the area. And they, she won't just concentrate on filling in all the conduit. I don't know how many times I've torn these tables down. You now, over here we've got 107 steel has been dropped off here. I've never asked them to work on that one or that one. So, a little frustrating there. Let's see what she does. Maybe it has something to do with queuing up multiple projects. Maybe that changes things. I don't know. Because now she's doing a good job of filling in. Oh, she, now she's got head all the way down into there. Must be a radius around where she was assigned. But then let's have you fill in this one right here. Uh, this one right here. Okay. Then with that, let's see if I can get you to actually build a few of these. And we'll start tearing down the other ones and be done with them, rather than waste the components to repair this one. Now, that must be the one I told you to do. So that's the one you refused to bring. Construction failed. Ooh. Okay. Let's, you know, let's have you actually build the one that I asked you to build. Can you do that this time? <laughs> it's funny watching them. There we go. And you're going in there... To do what? Oh, to, you know, to build the, the bench and the... Okay. Well, let's... You want to make a duster so bad? Let's have you um, build that one, and then let's just tie all these guys together. Uh, that one. Don't need this many, but I'll have you stop there. And with that, we can reconnect this guy, and we'll have our new console... Our comms console up and running. Construction failed. Arr. Okay, well, let's see how many more failures we get. Right there. Lost three of them. Let's try it again. There we go. Let's see if we can get this one going. It worked. Okay. And we're up and running. But let's go ahead and reconnect somewhere close. That uh, didn't work. Reconnect again. Uh, right there. Didn't work. Oh, I had it and then it went away. Andy. Okay, why don't you... There's one right there. Doesn't it just take one? It just takes one. There's one right there. I'm confused. Handy's up. Um, Handy, can you instead, um, already constructing it? Interesting. How'd that happen? Natalie, where'd you go? Did you drop into, no, make duster. What happened there? And who's Michael talking? Oh, Michael's still going after Handy. <laughs> It's going to depress him again. All right. Boom. And then we've got to you know, do all the other things. Uh -huh. But we're going to get this up and running again. Boom, boom. Look at that. She just stares at it and it starts running. All right. That's going. Then, Handy, I need you specifically to deconstruct and deconstruct. That one, too. This one. This one. Um, we'll leave the lights running for now. We'll just roll the dice and see where that actually lands. But yeah, that's... Okay, so those are going. We're going to leave the machine table going for now. And then we'll get... This is stone, right? Yeah, then when you're done with those, I'll have you... You Did you eat? You did. Then I'll have you construct these when you're all done. Deconstructing takes quite a bit of time. Kind of like smoothing. So someone that's got the more uh, developed construction skills would definitely be uh, helpful. 
doing this project. Now we're going to get a few of our components back. Lots of steel back. Good. Okay. So I just saw Michael begrudgingly grumble past to go cut blocks. Let's let's go see what he created. Boy, is getting congested. Yeah. Okay. This one could possibly be it. Anything else in here? That's not it. That's we have one, two available to us. All right. So this one was made by Michael. It is superior. Woohoo! We're getting there. Superior. And let's just pop over here. Beauty of 200. Named White Cliff. I always get a little apprehensive reading these after but when I've not, you know, read them beforehand. Just, I don't know what Rimworld's going to throw into my video. <laughs> Sometimes. This sculpture bears an illustration of a cutlass. There is a township behind the focal point. The style is complex and realistic with figurative elements. Okay. So that one is a seller because it's not specific to us. So that's a huge chunk of silver waiting for us right there. Let's see if this one is more specific to us. This is a good one. Beauty of, of 150 and titled Book 13. We've read this one. Uh, same sort of thing. Uh, illustrates an actor surrounded by threshers. Six priests sit in the upper part of the image, and the image seems to express nearness. Oh, that's from, from Cathra. So both of these are good ones to sell, but they're not going to be ones we'll use. Even though, yeah, we'll get the bonus for it. But the goal is to put very personalized artwork into our, our town. Because they're going to be making lots and lots and lots of artwork. There's a whole studio waiting for them here. Um, Klaus, what you doing? <clears throat> You're building power conduits. Okay, we'll let you. Now, hmm... Yeah, let's go ahead and let this one continue. And... Hmm... Just trying to decide what is first, and do we want to lose all of this steel in here? It's all going to get back in there eventually. But... Is it better use somewhere else, like a bank of turrets up and running? Hmm... Don't know. Candy's getting the wall built over here. And I only told her to do the middle one, and that's what she's going to do, because she's going to go play chess. And when she's done, she is in uh, the mode of construction, so she'll pop back in and, and do both of those. And this will be sealed, at which time we can go ahead and bust this out. Yeah, that is the storage room for the cloth. So this all goes away, this all goes away. We could start laying that out. So I want the new walls in place before we get to that point. This is the real hallway right here. So a wall shooting up right through there. So this light's got to go. Um, it needs to get moved. Reinstall at. Temporarily, this corner would work fine. And... Chess. Handy, where'd you go? You just didn't need it that bad, did you? I don't know. You... Are building marble tile even though you're right next to these two that's really odd let's do this first and then take care of this and this manually then you can take off and do what you want but <clears throat> it'd be nice to get that in and then let's actually we can go ahead and deconstruct this uh oh you're doing those okay that and then do that one and then let's go ahead and drop in, you are granite, build copy, right through our chest tables. No, no, it's not over there. It's over here and there. Okay, so, and she's so fast, I'm going to pause. She'll be gone before I get a chance to even figure where the cancel button is. Okay, you guys go away, and you go away for now. Let's get this built in here. So we want structure, wall, granite, right there and we're gonna run this we're gonna run that need to move these okay you are excellent where do we need an excellent hmm well we'll come back to that and you can go off and do what she wants let's think that through we already have a good one there um need to move the chest set somewhere too i don't know where that is because there isn't a place that is that isn't uh, ugly at the moment Hmm. So, excellent chairs. This will be our first art table, so may as well do that there. So that was you. That was normal. Right there. Excellent. And reinstall out. 
right there. You are good. You are superior. Where can we put, temporarily, the chest set? Used to be you could do stuff like that in the prison. And when there weren't any prisoners there, they would come and use it anyway. They'd use their table, they'd use everything, but that's been pretty well separated out now. Um, we're pretty crowded down this main hall. This is pretty ugly over here, and it's exposed to the outside. Not for long, though. We're going to be sealing this up again once we get uh, cold. Outdoor, 47 degrees. Yeah, but not yet. We could get quite hot with this, this freezer running um, until we really get cold outside. Um... I could put it here, but it's so far away, I suspect they won't make the trip. It needs to be somewhere central to where they spend their time. Which eventually, I guess we're just going to make this work. Hmm. Um, where is it right now? It's right there. How about we just tuck it over for right now? Even down a little bit. You go there. You reinstall there. You reinstall there. And somebody is doing some major work over here. Handy and Klaus. They are getting the... Uh, what is that right now? That's a bedroom. Getting a bedroom all put together. Let's concentrate on actually completing a block of bedrooms. That would be important. Handy, first of all, though. Go ahead and move this stuff over here just to get it done. So, that one, that one, that one. This one's going away. This one needs a home real quick. You can go where? We'll make this the first one. That goes away. This goes uh, reinstall at right. Actually, normal. That's right. Normal is a stop. Is an uninstall. We're not keeping anything below good. Handy, go ahead and do that one and then move on over to this one. Okay, and that lets us put this wall in. Granite right there. And what is this? Where would a door be? Let's drop a door directly across. I'm thinking we've got... No, this isn't a door here. Ah, wait a minute here. Time out. Right now, this is an alcove. Until we decide what's going to happen in this space. That's right. Okay. Okay. What time is it now? 35 minutes into this? Okay. Let's let you run. And you're going to do that. Be nice. Yeah. Okay. Cancel. This all goes away. That's right. This is real. Let me think here. This is sewing. That's going to cut across right there at least. So this is real. So this becomes granite wall. There and there. And this gets dug out. Renovating is so much more difficult than uh, working on something from scratch. It is. I've done it all my life. I've always renovated. It takes ten times as long to do the same thing. You can't just replace, you know, tear out the wall. You've got to support the rest of the building while you're tearing out that wall. It's, it's just it's like holding both ends of a tube at four at once. Um, so, okay, so that's going to be the new storage room for all of this. At least that's the beginning of it. When we find out that, that utterly fails, then we'll punch this out and, and do more. Or we will use uh, some of the storage over here in the main uh, uh, storage area, where the orbital trade beacon's over here. So that is there. An alcove here, until we figure out what this is going to be. Whether it's going to be a machine room, machine shop, whether it's going to be a place for Handy to to quickly build various pieces of furniture to be distributed out to the colony, or just what. So that is that. So I need a wall right here so we can complete the blueprint of this, which is the extension of this wall. So that is the next step. Structure. Granite. Right through there. With a door where. How do we move back and forth through here during the construction, or do we need to? That's a bedroom. And drop down into here this hmm yeah it's gonna be tough figuring that out I'll have to stare at that after the uh, episode is over which means let's not get into this right now let's see what else there is to to do that one is something I need to stop talking and just start staring so we got all that in we need to get all of this hauled in this is fine it's under a roof now 
this is not and we need as much of it as we can possibly get 1900 hours everybody's on hauling duty for the next three hours Tomislav you were researching now you are going to you got a decent run speed let's send you to the middle you're going to haul this and then that 138 in that stack Wow 92 in that stack all of these are more than a single trip so you can get into that one and you can get into that one okay you grab that area handy building granite door you get the fastest run speed you're grabbing five trips out of here there I lost you weird I hit the wrong no it's not working it's not in the home zone is that it no it's working now that was weird there and one more right there all right rabbit you're already out here but you're sewing right now let's do some hauling instead um yeah come on over here so there and there wipes out all of that and part of that so grab into there next and oh that's all been claimed that's there's probably still something left over there okay shantigo you have also got a decent run speed so you're up in this area somewhere so there and uh, every other one over here there and over there Klaus also good run speed I wish I knew what was left I guess we'll just toss you in somewhere and see if anything triggers as to uh, already being hauled by there and one more over there and then we've got Sangria who is up in this area already let's send you down into this part of it there there probably right there right there and right in there Kathra you're a good hauler what is left that group is there anything else out and about anything in here on the ground the pigs and dogs will take care of what's close by really quickly but it takes them a while to get further and further out um Kathra let's do something a little bit different how about two trips only and take care of bringing in some steel and while I'm here let's chip away another uh, another row in here I don't know how deep this is gonna go alright so that got us to Catherine Natalia does not haul and I can't think of a way to trick her into it same with Michael for something like hay grass so now nope, you're you're done so Miss P is gonna be on mining duty soon so Alicia you're the last one and I don't know what else has or has not been done in here so let's just send you up to what are you doing right now you are hauling fine meals because you're on hauling duty you've been hauling all this time so is there anything else that I can get you to do um I can't think of anything let's put you back on mining and just let you finish off your day doing what though do you can okay I know what you can do Alicia set you back to mining and get you to take out this one right here all right that'll finish off your night these these five or six and that doesn't expose us to anything right we're still sealed there we're sealed there and these are not set to deconstruct so those are fine probably not gonna get that one filled in for a while so I've got to figure out where the future doors are going to be before I make this permit so I can give us a, some way to move sideways because there really is no other way to go sideways they have to go all the way up around and through here and then drop back in so we do need a door down here somewhere even if just temporarily um so with that that's everyone's orders Klaus is going to take the long way to get there turrets did get turned off good another wild boar is pregnant oh man <laughs> oh this list is gonna yeah let's sort some things out here see what sangria has been up to she's been busy all right, nobody follows anybody anywhere. And set two more for training, for, for hauling. Uh, wild boar, all the tr the hauled one, the trained haul. Yeah, all the ones that have been trained to haul are where they should be. Except you two baby ones are in grazing. Um, let's set a bunch more of these like so. Yeah, I was out. I put a bunch of them in here so they can take advantage of the grass. But, and that is pigs. They do eat grass too. But they'll probably do a lot more of kibble. Which we don't have any. With all of those settings, nobody's gone past their number ones to be able to do a two after all this time. Let's set somebody to do something like that right now. 
Wow, that was a hard crash. My Fraps just crashed. Fraps is a program I record with, and it's never done this before. It's always been very reliable, but it crashed, and, and so dropped RimWorld to desktop, but my mouse was creeping along about this speed. I had moved it a lot, and it was going to take a minute to make that move. So I tried to very slowly get it to the little button that was telling me that it was crashing and do I want to turn it off and I would click but it just kept moving back and forth from all the other previous movements that I had made trying to get my mouse back it had stored all of that in the cache and was slowly recreating every move one frame at a time so everywhere that I clicked where I thought I was crossing the path of that button it except the first click apparently but all the other ones were still being stored and clicking all the programs on my screen and all these icons were firing up and program after program after program was turning on including programs I've never run before and so they were all going into their setup modes and I've been 10 minutes just getting back to RimWorld computers I tell you anyway whatever I was just talking about I have no idea what it was so let's just uh, thankfully the game was on pause at that moment while I was saying whatever it was I was saying so it didn't run for a full day in RimWorld time while I was trying to make that happen <laughs> yeah modern technology how have we been doing in here anyway oh that's right that's what I was going to do so tomorrow next episode is probably more realistic let's see if we can't get this block done as well as maybe some some uh, barrier walls in here some bulkheads so that bulkhead's going to be there the next one is probably over here so two bedroom blocks two bedroom blocks all the lower pathways and then another one maybe here and let this whole run be a single bulkhead run and then we'll figure out how we're going to do that through the rest of the base but yeah when we get an infestation i, I was going to say if but what really it's when it's going to happen um it not, won't necessarily be isolated to a room. It could be scattered over two different blocks and, and the hallway in between. So it could be quite... Uh, what, what's really going to be entertaining is if it lands inside the turret chase. Well, we only have to get to a door and get to a switch in that case. Turn it on, shoot everything inside, turn it back off, pop in there, open a door, run back through, get through, hitting the switch as we go. <laughs> it sounds easy, and uh, turning it on so they can shoot through the rooms. But, uh, yeah. Well, everyone's kind of back. No, they're not. I'm not. I, I thought everyone was asleep, but no, they're all still up hauling, aren't they? Yeah, they're all doing all of this, bringing a lot of the stuff in. We are, we're at midnight. Yeah, just do five quick runs. It does take a lot more than three hours, doesn't it? Rabbit, you are on your, no, you've got two runs left. Anybody ready to crash on me let's let's look at that moods can we can we take more um comma button so Kathra's in the worst shape so far then we have michael he is should be in bed yeah he's right there sleeping because he he wouldn't haul he's just not in a great mood because he's down there block cutting and then we've got alicia's doing okay yeah so meal wise who's that that is Sangria. So Sangria, when you're done, grab a meal first before you go to bed. Right there. Then we've got... There was one more. One that's really low. Tomislav, when you're done, your mood's still going to handle this for a while. But when you're finished, go ahead and grab a meal before you go to bed. Right there. And Handy, what are you looking like? Why don't you do that as well? That way you two can, can uh, maybe sit and have a meal together. That would be good. And... I don't even know how long I've been running it now. Hmm. My timer says 50-some minutes. Uh, more than that. So, But I, I'm pretty sure I lost a good 10 minutes. So we must be in the low 40s somewhere. We'll run this a little bit longer. Otherwise... Hmm. So in here... Let's stare at this a little bit while we have some time. No longer inspired. Okay. This is what? That is the end of the, of the clothing stockpile, the, the textile stockpile. Okay. And that was there because of a light bulb? There was something there, wasn't there. 
Yeah, so that can be blocks. Right there. Okay. I don't see any reason why. Is there one there too? Why we would need to move from a stockpile uh, room through into this alcove. Really just straight through is, is more than enough. You know, so that whoever's doing the sewing can grab materials and or cross through into the main storage area to grab other materials and then come back. So that's a good, that's a logical pathway there. What is the logical pathway here? I'm going to have an art table there, art table here, another tool bench, tool cabinet, more storage up down here. So we've got a door here. We could cross through with another door here. Pass right through the room. That would make sense. Psychic drone. All right, that's better than a psychic ship. I'm getting pretty tired of psychic ships. Um, every colonist, female gender, winces in pain. Okay. So it may well be time to cancel any more hauling jobs and get them to sleep if there are any going on. Um, handy. Actually, you're fine. You have got such a needs. You're heading for there, though. Hmm. Well, I think you're the last one. Alicia, you are grabbing a meal so you can go to sleep. Okay. <clears throat> Rab's going to bed. Shantigo, you're on your last run. Now you've got more, one more to go. It's already four in the morning. Let's cancel you. Klaus, let's cancel you. And you're going to grab a meal. Shantigo grabbed a meal. Handy, get you down into here. And we'll cancel you as well. Alicia, you are digging a compacted steel needs. Because somehow you're completely recharged and got to sleep. Did, when did that happen? That's. I thought I sent you to tap away at these. And I thought you would be just about done. But, hmm, interesting. Handy, you as well can cancel and grab a meal and go to sleep. All right, so with that, who else is up? Sanger is in bed, and nobody else is out here hauling. Hopefully, we've hauled so much of it now that the pigs will be able to finish this off. Dogs are, even yeah, the dogs are set to go up this high as well. So between all of them, if that's all that's left, that and what's pretty safe in here, this stuff can sit for three quandrums. That can sit for berries only, though, for 13 days. So that's not the same. Interesting. Is it because it got too warm? Or they just don't have the shelf life of corn? That must be more of what it is. Okay. So these grapes got taken out. Um, I'd like to get these grapes taken out, but that's not a real priority at the moment, so we'll just leave that alone. And everybody else has kind of gone to bed. Yeah. Which means it's probably a decent time to go ahead and shut this one down. I'll work them a little bit harder to get uh, a few things, you know, scattered jobs done around here and be ready to hit pause if anything happens but um yeah we'll call this one done it's been noble rambler i'll catch you guys later bye, -bye.